Our top story tonight, a Bibb County grand jury has indicted 16 people in a case that covers several counties across the state. The charges include racketeering, money laundering, and bribing a state revenue officer. Ashlyn Webb joins us live outside the courthouse in downtown Macon with more on the charges and more on some of the people the district attorney's office says were involved. Yes, Frank, this has been something that's been coming down the pipeline since at least the summer of 2019 when there were a handful of arrests. Now we obtained a 62 page indictment with charges including bribery, tax evasion, money laundering and illegal gambling. Manish Kumar Patel. Kunj Patel. DA David Cook Karen listed Patel, off 16 defendants charged Patel, by the grand jury Tuesday in a racketeering case. George. Some were first arrested in 2019, but now new defendants are also added to the case. Now there's this expectation of getting away with it that just because you pay off someone in law enforcement, you think you can escape justice. Those indicted include Megan business owners, Raheem McCarley, a former Bibb County Sheriff's Office deputy, a former Bullitt County Sheriff's captain, a Georgia Department of Revenue agent, and a former police chief in Ideal in Macon County. The businesses all allegedly ran illegal gaming machines. I can tell you that the more we investigate this, the more public officials we find uh, who could be involved. The indictment says Statesboro business owner Nick Raval bribed a Bullock County Sheriff's Office captain in 2017. With loans, gifts of money, use of Mr. Raval's vehicles, liquor, and a watch in exchange for the deputy giving Mr. Raval a badge, a deputy identification card. Raval also is accused of bribing the revenue agent in 2017 and 2018 with airline tickets. In exchange, the agent allegedly provided confidential information about Raval's business competitors. The businesses are located throughout the state with hubs in Bibb, Bullock, Chatham, and Glenn counties. Overall, the indictment alleges that 58 businesses around the state took part in the scheme. Those businesses allegedly collected over $3 million in sales tax, but never paid it to the state. In just over three weeks, Cook leaves office and DA-elect Anita Reynolds Howard takes over. This spring, Howard told 13 WMAZ that Cook was going overboard in prosecuting businesses that run those illegal coin-operated gaming machines. But Cook says that's not why he's bringing the charges now. Because of the pandemic, the grand jury couldn't meet until recently. It's my job as DA until the end of the year to pursue justice, and that's what we've done. Cook also said that illegal cash and these types of businesses have led to murder, assault and armed robbery. He added that he's been working to hold the gambling industry accountable for at least the last seven years because of constituents plea to plea for action, saying that the addiction to these machines have torn families apart. Reporting live in Macon, Ashlyn Webb, 13 WMAZ News. All right, Ashlyn, thanks very much for the update.